Hello everyone and welcome to UM News. I'm DJ Stewart. And I'm Maria Anderson. The University of Montana serves fresh and local food to students through its Farm to College program. In the last 14 years, the use of local food on campus has grown more than 25%. I took a look at how the program impacts Montana farmers. Lucy Brieger has owned Lifeline Produce for nearly 35 years. She sells a portion of her food to the University of Montana through the Farm to College program. She's noticed a shift in awareness of where Montanans get their food from. We're seeing local demand for what's produced locally, and so we're seeing a little bit more of those businesses be able to survive, and that's a great thing for food security. The Farm to College program began in 2003. According to UM, it's grown from 8% to nearly 35% of its food purchased locally. That adds up to more than $1 million going back into Montana's economy and back to local farms like Lifeline Produce. Each year, the university celebrates the Farm to College program with its fall festival. Freshman Brett Kaplan appreciates the food the festival offers and the impact the program brings to the community. It provides great food for us, um, tastes really good, very fresh food. It's great for the economy. The festival offered squash grown at Lifeline Produce along with other local foods. Brieger says the Farm to College program offers more than just foods though. Survival is enhanced with the relationships that we all can grow. And so when we have relationships around food, it makes everybody the richer. The university says it will never be able to satisfy all food needs through local producers, but it is striving to do more. The Farm to College program will celebrate its 15th anniversary this spring. The Fall Special Olympics are underway and UM students are hitting the courts as coaches. More students from the university are volunteering for the Special Olympics than they have in previous years. For some students, it fulfills requirements for class, but after they start, the volunteers say they find themselves back the next year volunteering again, even though it's not required. Each year, American Indian Heritage Week highlights the contributions that natives bring to UM. 2017 marks 50 years of community involvement between a variety of knowledge and experiences. Themes include art and humanities, health and wellness, social justice, and ecological knowledge. The celebration is only the beginning of opportunities to learn about American Indian culture. The Kiayo Group sponsors other events throughout the year, including the 50th annual powwow coming in April. Thank you everybody for watching. For more stories, visit umnews.jour.umt.edu. Have a wonderful day.